It is a privilege to be here with Stacy Glaus. She and SG Life in the Fast Lane, her home raised gilding, just took the victory in the first go of our Derby here at Pink Buckle 2023, held in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Stacy, I our our viewers here can't see this, but you have an entire <laughs> crowd here. They're so happy for you. You might be able to hear them in the background. Um, you're so loved and so many people on Facebook are already congratulating you. What does this win mean to you? It means so much. Um, you know, we try our whole life to have the unicorn. And I've been doing this since I was very small. I had the bug at a young age. And I've had I've had some good horses. I had another horse that was pretty nice. But I'm a lot of good horses, but it's hard to get this caliber of a horse. So for that to come to me again is just pretty exciting. You have a lot of history with the bottom side of his pedigree. Tell us that story. Um, so I raised his grandma. She was a deregulate, uh, charged for Kirk, went back to Old Man Roan. And she was probably one of the funnest horses I've ever ran. She'd just go in, ears pinned, that's where he gets that from. And just try so hard. And she, she fell short. She was like uh, probably eight when I retired or she just got, we never did really find it, but she just kind of quit working. So I started breeding her, and my friend had a Dash to Fame stud called Poco Laherto. And, you know, free breed, so why not? So I bred her, and I got his mother, and she was naughty. <laughs> she was really fast, but really naughty. She would sew up on a barrel and, like, just stop. Sometimes it was questionable if the jackpot was going to be able to continue. Like, she was just naughty. So, um... Mark Jarvis, Mark loved his, Mark loved Gucci too, and my last run on her I made, she, I turn first, I turn second, I get to the third barrel and she stops. And as I come out, Mark says, you know, we need to breed her to the goodbye lane, and I'm like, no, I do not, no. And he's like, I promise you it will be good-minded, and I took his word for it, and so I've been thankful for that. And that is where Armani came from. <laughs> Tell us about his personality and kind of take us behind the scenes of, you know, what's he like when you're just down at the stall getting ready to run? He is uh, kind of a comedian. Uh, just all in your face, all in your bubble. Uh, he does the funniest things. He'll hold water. He'll, he just got one of my friends the other day. He'll hold water in his mouth. <laughs> and then when you're standing there by him, he'll just like spit it on you. Uh, so just always, always a jokester. He's just a lot of fun. Yeah. My final question for you is, you made the point, you've been doing this since you were young, um, many, many years of good horses. Uh, what do you say, what encouragement do you have to offer to anyone who's still out there waiting for that great horse? Oh, just keep trying. And probably one of the most important things I've learned over the years, uh, they're not all going to make it. I wasted a lot of time on uh, the horse that was bred just right, and oh, it's going to come around the corner, it's going to make it. I tell all the girls I ride with, like, you're not losing, it's not giving up, it's just being smart. Like, don't be afraid, just keep moving through them and the good ones will come. The good ones are easy, they just do it. That's beautifully said, that's a great point and great encouragement to everyone watching. Congratulations on this win and good luck tomorrow. Thank you so much.